Hello everybody and welcome back to Benjamin Magnus Plays Europa Universalis 4. Now I just uh, read all the comments from the episode where I accidentally formed Japan and save scrubbed and uh, generally opinions seem to be kind of split. Some people wanted me to play as Mag stay as Magnus, some people wanted me to stay as or, or play as Japan, but something that did catch my eye in the comment section was someone who said it doesn't matter to me which nation you're play at uh, you play as i'm here to watch you not the nation which really is uh pretty heartwarming from my point of view so thank you very much to everybody who uh gave me your opinions from that episode but for now just because it's already said and done i am going to be staying as magnus anytime down the road if i change my mind i could always just annex musashi in just probably a few months like six months or something like that probably all right, uh, I'm gonna take the prestige hit. Not gonna lose the admin. I just got a f free hundred admin points. I don't want to lose fifty of them. Uh, I I'm glad that my economy is doing so well. I mean, really well. I'm at right now plus twelve. I when I was playing as Poland, I think my nation was probably double this size before I had that kind of that kind of income. But I do have a gold mine that does contribute to it, so that's something to think about now these guys are my next target so let's take a look at them i haven't really paid much attention to them yet um oh they are basically by themselves royal marriage has urine as a vassal who the hell is that trade dispute against the ming oh these gu these guys are their vassal that is interesting. Oh, and if you guys didn't uh, don't remember from last episode, Korea is a accepted culture in Japan now. So, I don't have to worry about converting them. That makes me extremely happy. Now they do have That's a it's a pretty mild military. I don't think they're going to be able to put up a very strong fight. Let's see, is there anything I can fabricate? Oh, there's one more province to fabricate a claim on. So, we'll get that going. Now, uh, I did just uh, level up my Diplo tech. Getting kind of close to admin. Need about 800. Military about halfway there. Hmm. Just thinking where I should go. I really need to get this admin. I think it's still on. Yeah, National Focus is still that. I'm just waiting for this guy to die because his air is going to be so much better. Now, in relations to playing as Magnus or playing as Japan, if I play as Magnus, I stay as Daimyo, I'm pretty sure, which gives me 10% morale of armies and 10% infantry combat ability, which is fucking awesome. If I play as Japan, the Shogun gets plus four Diplo relations, so I can have, you know, more royal marriages and, and alliances and military access and stuff like that. And right now, I'm thinking that Daimyo is better for me. And please, anybody, if I murder pronunciation, just come in here and correct me. I do not mind. What I have a tendency to do, I think I mentioned this before when I play Paradox games, is I'll see a word and immediately, without, like, phonetically spelling it out for myself, I'll immediately form a pronunciation in my head and stick with that. And then for the next couple hundred hours I play the game, I pronounce it that way in my head. And then when it comes time to playing it for the channel, I'm pronouncing things incorrectly because I never bothered to learn how to pronounce them correctly the first time around. Enforcing our heritage, missionary strength. Now, I think if we go to here... Oh, it still wants us to form an alliance with Korea. How do they feel about us now? Oh, well, why don't we wait for the Korean peasants to uh, do their thing and see what happens? What was I doing? Um... So, I guess there's three options for me right now. I could form Japan, be a Shogun, stay as Magnus, be a Daimyo, or... Oh, one of the following must be true, Magnus is not... So I would need to form Japan, and then <laughs> do this. Then I could convert country changes to Japan, um, then, then, yeah, you know, unite Japan. Um, 
feudal monarchy is what that would give me. Hmm. Now I'm wondering if... I'll have to look up what you get for feudal monarchy, but I don't remember it being a lot. I kind of like the, the what you get as a daimyo. I might just end up staying as a daimyo this entire time. Okay, let's crank this up so we can get this done. Let's see, how do these guys feel? Okay, well, I... Th uh... Why, why, why is that going on right there? Pretender. Oh, it's just uh, they're going to change rulers, basically. That's not a big deal. Now, let's take a look uh, culture-wise what we're going to be dealing with here. Are we converting anybody right now? Oh, yes. Yes, 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 we are. I forgot about that. I needed to check on that. Oh, we lost a statesman. Uh, not a big deal. I th For a second there, I thought... Um, I thought that... My, uh, terrible dude had died. Uh, diplomacy, can we... Alright, let's wait a few minutes and see if we can get to annexing, um, Shizamu. Uh, is it under here? Form alliance. They are subject. They're not a subject. Oh, wait. What's going on? Are the, I think I misinterpreted what these guys are. I think these are... This is an independent nation. Oh, no. No, we can annex them. Easy. Korean rebels, I don't think I have to actually worry about. 11 years, and it's all because of the converting that's going on right now. Everybody else is happy. All the ones that are, you know, like, very large negatives, those are the ones that have been converted already. And the, I mean, well, I'm, start, I'm starting to get into the ones that are going to take a while longer. Alright, so these three provinces... Oh, that one I already have. Oh, that's the one I'm converting right now. These ones are Korean, and after that we get into... Manchu. It looks like... I'm just looking around the world at all the different cultures that might come into my possession. Like, these guys, I feel like I should convert up here. I don't care about them. It's a kind of poor region. And I have to wait till their nationalism goes away, I think. I think I just have to wait for that to decay. Yeah, I think so. Is it worth it to go through and do stuff like this? Like, if I find, uh, build no, buildings, local autonomy. Like, the ones that are already pretty low, I can't, like, those ones I can't touch. Like, can I... Knock it down even more just to get, like, you know, like, the tax and the manpower? Is it worth it? Or will it piss people off too much? Alright, I think as soon as this is this is good to go, I think I'll declare war. These guys are annexing really quickly. It's just a single province. I'm pretty sure the time it takes to annex is a direct relation to how many provinces the country owns. Like, when I did it is Poland, and I incorporated, um... Is it not uh, Moldova? Moldovia, I think it was. I can't really remember. I, it seemed to have taken a couple years, but that was like six provinces. And this is going really quickly because it's only one. Almost done here. I'm glad that some of the areas I'll be taking are Korean. It'll make things easier for me. All right, we're going to declare war on these guys. Going to take... Uh, this is the one we're going to uh, make the war for. And the first things first is we're going to head out and... Oop! First things first is we're going to crank our sliders up. And we're going to try to attack them. Now, they don't have much of a navy, so I don't have to worry about anything there. Now, we'll just wait for the morale to hit up, uh, get up there proper like, and then we'll head over here. Actually got 75% no, 74% done with the uh, the siege there, which is nice. Come on, just a little bit higher. All right, let's start moving now. I guess I, I, I could wait for it to get higher, but it's not a big deal. They've been integrated, perfect. I just didn't want to wait. I didn't want to... I, I wanted to make sure that was still going to go. All right, now we'll chase him down. Well, what we'll do is we'll drop off a couple... 
We'll do this. Ooh, hang on. Let's see what this is. Samurai locals have served long faithfully. Traditional dictates that this uh, castle's most loyal warriors must be rewarded by their master for their service. Okay. Gain legitimacy and prestige, but lose ducats. That's fine. So let's take the army and hit them again over here. They didn't retreat very far. Come on. Wipe them out completely. Yep. Completely wiped them out. So let's actually detach a siege there. We'll detach a siege here. I'll just... I'll do these ones right here. And then... Eh. Yeah, I, I don't want to grab too much here. Um, I want to... I, I, I probably want to grab these three. I think that's a good goal. Now let's see, do they have anything left? No. Just a few thousand troops here and there. Look, these guys are on the border. They, sh they damn well should be. My ports are blockaded. Oh, I see what they're doing. Unmothball the fleet. Probably should have done that at the beginning. Just knock this guy out. Is that just artillery? Yeah. And I've got basically horsemen left, so... There we go. What was that? Was there a second little battle there? Did I lose some ships? Huh. I don't remember only having two ships like that while walking around. So I must have lost some. Or maybe those were from Shizamu. Alright, let's, uh, let's do something about this in a second. Oh! Oh, they converted. Yay. Should we send out another one immediately? I feel like we should. Oh, that's it's it's this little guy who's getting his butt handed to him. Gifts to the state. All right, uh, prestige or some ducats. I'll take the prestige. Let's. All right, that's good enough for now. Let's send these guys out. They actually managed to land a couple tro troops over there, which I'm not terribly happy about. We'll try to get this one, too. Maybe I should raise up a couple uh, regiments for home defense. What's my uh, force limit at? Let's see. Oh, plenty. Alright, so let's take out their navy. Will this uh, destroy that, that unit who's in transit, too? That'd be cool if it did. Um, I don't think it destroyed... Yeah, uh, yeah I think it did. No, 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 he went back. Alright, so let's send you... Just back over here, and what, what I'm gonna do... Oh, another siege went down. So these guys, how about you guys head over there? Now, what were we doing? Um... Let's put this down to speed two real quick. We're gonna raise up some some units for home defense is what I'm gonna call it. One, two. Come on, stop lagging. Three, four. Border tensions. Splendid. Five. We're gonna do one. One. Two. And that should be that. Alright. Not gonna bother with uh Cavalry, uh, not cavalry, artillery, artillery. All right, all right. Let's send a couple more of these guys out. I forgot that once Korean became accepted, that these went down. These got cut in like half. All right, so let's just merge those guys together. Merge those guys together. A shade of jade. A small jade statue catches your eye. The figurine depicts a samurai striking a contemplative pose. The ideas of Bushido and of the samurai have come to wield increasing more influence in Japan, but perhaps it is best to abstain from idol worship. 
Let's see. Counts of Heretics and Yearly Prestige or Admin Power. Admin Power. Always gonna go with power if I if I can. Alright, already up to 21%, nice. Cause I would love these two in maybe that one. I think that would be good for me. And these guys, I don't, I don't, I don't really feel like I need a, a fleet up right now. I can just re-mothball them. Yeah, we'll just re-mothball them, no big deal. Fleets are actually pretty damn cheap, normally. Like, you can, you can blow your force limit on the Navy out of the water pretty easily and not really notice a difference. So these, uh, th this, th these seven regiments are going to basically be, uh, like a home defense kind of thing. They're going to stay in Japan and defend against rebels and invasions and stuff. Nice. Admin. All right. And the next one is going to give us, give us our next idea group, which I'm very happy about. I really, really, uh, really wish that I could immediately go back into into admin, but I think what we're going to do is probably go with exploration so that we can set up colonies down here, start going down this way. I want to grab all this region, basically, and um, like all the little islands, and then start heading out west. And by west, I, of course, mean east. I'm not used to being on the other side of the planet. Alrighty, so let's grab these guys together, and let's send you up here. Just gonna march you straight up there. Hopefully, we get there before uh, before the siege uh, the, before they fall. Cruelty of the mercenaries. War is seldom without brutality. Soldiers are not known for their mercy, but this war has seen uh, exceptionally vile behavior on the part of our occupying forces. Hmm. It appears that mercenaries, unsatisfied with the wages being provided with them, screw you guys. I'm paying you what you asked. Or to robbing the civilian population, Extor uh, extortion by means of terror and torture has become commonplace. Magnus soldiers have uh, reviled as well, are reviled as well, and feared stories of atrocities spread beyond the borders of the war. We should prevent this from happening in the future. Mercenaries are more expensive, and there are fewer available, and I lose prestige. Or, uh, toward all cost, I think that means. Terrorized by mercenaries, terror. oh, that unrest. Um... Yeah, we'll we'll just do that. Uh, I should probably not focus on mercenaries too much to begin with. Should we get a? Can we can we afford another general? Oh, we even have another general. So let's just put this guy in charge to begin with. All right, I set him up there. Do it okay up here. We'll just wait for these ones to siege down, and then we'll see what we can uh, get in terms of a peace offer is starting to like us. Let's send out a diplomat again to improve some relations. Alright, we're going to knock out those guys pretty easily. Are they actually going to... Oh, broke the siege. They're not interested in fighting. They actually got better to get four guys over? Five. Oh, I'm going to cross a river if I go from there. So let's head over here. See, is there a river crossing that way, too? Kamakawa. Yeah, there's a river crossing no matter which way I go. Can, can we just help the, help our light, other, that other light ship out? Well, let's just, uh, let's just bite the bullet, see what happens. Hopefully we'll get some decent rolls. He's got a great general, comparatively. Ooh, their military tactics are higher. I wonder if they have um, a military tech up on us. I mean, I'm not worried about the outcome at all, but... Let's actually just send these guys... We'll put these guys together just so that one ship's not out all alone. All right, there we go. He's going to retreat here and stop, I think. Oh, okay, Korea's not going to get any further than that with me. The wars have been... Well, ever since I restabilized the nation, the wars have been pretty easy. No one's really been able to put together a a you know cohesive force to deal with me. I'll let that guy get back up to 100%. We'll knock those guys out of the war, just like that. I can't wait till the nationalism gets, gets down so I can convert these places. I am going to convert them to get rid of uh, um, Inu. Is that how you pronounce it? A Inu. 
I have no idea. Alright, so let's just wait on these two sieges over here. Oh, and let's see, when is this guy gonna... Okay, one more tick and he'll, he'll be up. Come on. Alright, there's one more siege down. Actually, just put these guys... Hang out, hang out over here. Right, well, that's close enough. Oh, it's... it's, it's not right. Now, let's see... Okay, they'll do they'll do good in Beijing. So let's send them over there. Twenty one percent, and we rolled a one. Every time it, it's it's like oh I, I think I'll be able to get it this time, and I look over it's always like a one, like critical failure. One more, just one more. No, oh, one more admin tech is what I'm talking about. One more admin tech. And we'll be able to get that idea group, which is what I'm really excited for. Is that what I'm going to try to do is reach down and get all this area. The Philippines, that'd be great. Let's see, what is it? What do they got in terms of trade goods there? I don't even know. Is it this one? Oh, we're not allowed to see. Forgot about that. I think what I'm doing is I'm going to finish up this war and then end the episode. I'm a little crunched for time today just because I have a extremely, extremely long shift at work today. And it's not that the extremely long shift means I'm trying to wrap things up quicker. It's that it's disrupting my upload schedule. Like last night I had to get some extra work done because I wasn't going to be home this afternoon. And I want to make sure the, the episodes got up on time. Uh, and then this morning I have to do a little bit of video editing so that because I'm not gonna have time to do it tonight Because I'm gonna get home from work and immediately go to bed But thankfully this is my Friday and by this is my Friday. I mean I have the next two days off Ugh, night. Come on Well, we didn't breach the walls, which is a bummer Well, I do have more cannons over here, so Thinking about maybe getting rid of the mercenaries now. I don't really need them anymore. Oh, never mind. All I had to do was complain. That's generally the way things do. Uh, things go in this game. Bitch about them, and then the, the game will give you a nice roll. So we want this one and this one. We could take these two as well. What would that give us? You know, I don't want that one. I do want that one, though. So we're going to grab all that. Cancel. Okay, so no, they're no longer subject. Force religion, can I do that? How far off am I from that? Oh, a lot. They're not going to take that. Alright, so that's what I'm going to be able to get out of this. Yeah, it's not going to fly. Nothing else is going to fly, so we'll just take those. That's what we wanted, so we're going to take that. Very good. That's exactly what we wanted. Now, these places are going to be... Yeah, here we go. We're starting to get into different cultures. But now this place is connected, which makes me happy. So we're going to have to do some converting. Now, now we're going to have to definitely watch this stuff. Let's see. Korean patriots. Yeah, it added a lot into there from the new Korean regions. No one wants to work. Lose some money. Uh, 12 years. 5.9 years. So we're definitely... Well, for starters, we're going to... boop. Whoa! That place! What the hell is up with this place? Tax base of five. Huh! Oh, maybe it's because it's... I mean, iron... Iron can't be worth that much. I already have one. Huh. Okay, um, well, we'll we'll do with, uh, you know, taking care of converting these places, and you know what, I'm actually, not, no, I am converting a place, so I'm gonna, you know what, let's actually wait for this one to finish. That's there, we are taking care of the, of that, let's make sure that's going as well. Alright, so the war exhaustion's gonna go down, overextension's gonna go down, 
hell is that? Global settler. Okay. I was wondering what that was. Uh, what am I looking at? What am I... That's what I'm looking for. We're gonna crank that down because we're not at war. Put those guys back together. Definitely increase the size. We finally managed to convert the heretics. Very nice. So more people converted. Let's see how uh, that changed. Okay, that completely knocked the Korean... Wait, no, it wasn't Korean Patriots. Knocked somebody else out. So... Production stifled. Ow. Oh. A uh, little inflation I can handle. So I think... Wow, that's a lot. Well, we can do this. And do this. I hate, I hate doing that shit, but kind of got to... Okay, we're already coring those regions, so let's convert Pyongyang. Send that off. Okay. And now we'll leave it right here as an episode. So, oh, look at that. That's a nice that's a nice acquisition right there. And what I like about it is that it gives me a border with Ming to start working on them. Although I might want to creep up the coastline as well and try to grab these regions up here. So, everyone, if you have enjoyed this episode, just drop me a like. Leave me a comment right down below. And if you're interested in more, Benjamin Magnus plays Europa Universalis 4. Subscribe to my channel, and I will see you next time.